Welcome to this Win Air video about the Gordie Howe Bridge. Rising majestically above the Detroit River, this bridge doesn't just serve a functional purpose. It stands as evidence to what modern engineering can achieve. Central to its strength and stability are the stay cables, a critical component that supports the entire structure. In this video, we're diving into the fascinating world of stay cables those impressive strings that make modern bridges, like the Gordie Howe Bridge, look like giant harps. Ever wonder how these essential components are installed, adjusted, and kept in tip-top shape over time? Buckle up, because we're about to get cable crazy. The Gordie Howe Bridge's stay cables play a crucial role in ensuring the bridge remains steadfast against the forces of nature. These cables are engineered to transfer the load from the bridge deck to its towering structures, maintaining balance and durability under varying conditions. Constructed from high strength steel, these cables are designed to endure the most extreme weather scenarios, from heavy winds to ice storms. Their unique design minimizes vibrations, ensuring that the bridge remains not just sturdy, but stable over time safeguarding the millions of vehicles that will traverse its expanse. Innovation solutions, including aerodynamic cable designs and specialized anchoring systems, were implemented to tackle these engineering hurdles, ensuring that the bridge remains structurally sound. Now before any cables go up, engineers create detailed plans. They calculate how much weight the cables need to support and where they should be placed. Every little detail matters. Next, they need to set anchor points. These are solid structures that will hold the cables securely in place. It's like making sure you have a firm grip on the rope before you start climbing. Once the anchor points are in place, the actual cables are installed. The installation process is indeed a complex and detailed operation. Here's a breakdown of the key steps. First, large trucks and cranes deliver these massive cables and huge white pipes made of weather-resistant plastic to the site. Tradesmen weld these bad boys together right on the deck and then feed a reference strand through the pipe like a very long, very strong piece of spaghetti. Now for some heavy lifting. A crane hoists one end of the pipe up to the tower. Workers on a special scaffold called a mast climber help guide it into place. Here's where it gets tricky. The reference strand needs to be anchored at both ends. Workers feed it into an anchor box in the tower and secure it with a steel wedge. The other end of the cable is anchored to the edge of the bridge deck using the same technique. It's a delicate balance of skill and precision. Time to bulk up that cable. Workers repeat the process, adding more strands to the pipe. Each stay cable can have anywhere from 38 to 122 strands. That's a lot of metal spaghetti. As more strands are added, the initial saggy pipes start to straighten out. It's like magic, but with engineering. Did you know the Gordie Howe International Bridge will have 216 stay cables when it's finished? If you laid out all the metal strands end to end, they'd stretch for about 5,000 kilometers. That's almost the distance from Windsor to Alaska. There's a lot to cover in this video, but I would like to take a few seconds to ask for your subscription. These videos do take time and money to produce and are supported by your subscription. It is free, and you will always be glad you did. Thanks in advance for your support. Okay, the cables are in place. However, the work isn't over. These crucial cables need some tender loving care to keep the bridge safe and sound. After the cables are installed, they are tensioned, meaning they are pulled tight enough to support the bridge properly without snapping. Engineers fine-tune the tension in each cable to make sure the bridge deck is perfectly level. It's like tuning a giant guitar, but instead of music, you get a smooth ride across the river. 
The process of tightening, loosening, and balancing the cables on the Gordie Howe International Bridge involves a precise procedure. Each cable undergoes a stressing process, applying tension to the metal strands using hydraulic jacks. Engineers use special equipment to measure the tension in each cable, then adjust it to achieve the desired tension and balance across the bridge structure. The process of tightening or loosening cables is repeated multiple times across the bridge. This is because adjusting one cable affects the tension in others, requiring a balanced approach. Engineers apply various load scenarios to the bridge and measure how the cables respond. This helps them determine if further cable adjustments are needed. The final step involves making minute adjustments to ensure all 216 stay cables are working in harmony to support the bridge deck and distribute the load evenly to the towers. This meticulous process ensures the stability, structural integrity, and longevity of the Gordie Howe International Bridge, allowing it to support nearly 34 million pounds of weight once completed. The location of the bridge, spanning the Detroit River, exposes it to significant wind forces and potential seismic events, making it crucial to ensure that the stay cables could effectively manage these stresses. The cable stays themselves contribute immensely to the overall strength and resilience of the Gordie Howe Bridge. Their advanced design not only supports weight, but also helps mitigate vibrations caused by traffic and environmental forces, ensuring a smoother, safer experience for all who travel across the bridge. Bridge crews will use a variety of high-tech tools to keep an eye on the cables, including sensors that measure tension and vibration, regular visual inspections, sometimes even using drones, and periodic testing to check for any signs of wear and tear. Just like your car needs oil changes, stay cables need maintenance like cleaning to prevent corrosion, replacing protective covering if they get damaged, and occasionally retensioning the cables if needed. Stay cables are designed to withstand extreme weather conditions and effectively transfer loads while minimizing vibrations to ensure we get a smooth, trouble-free crossing between Windsor and Detroit. So the next time you drive across a cable-stayed bridge, take a moment to appreciate those mighty cables holding everything together. It's a testament to the human ingenuity and some seriously cool engineering. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share with your friends and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Stay curious and keep on bridging those gaps. This is Bob Jones and I will see you in the next video.